everybody and welcome back. Yesterday I posted two videos, um, Violet Evergarden episode 6, I re-uploaded that, and Violet Evergarden episode 10, so if you're interested, go take a look. And today we'll be reacting to Love is Like After the Rain episode 10. Um, and last week we ended off where we saw two friendships go in two different directions. We saw Kondo and his friend um, kind of patch up their awkward relationship, and we saw Tachibana and her friend kind of um, their friendship kind of went apart a bit, like, with a little awkwardness and turmoil, like, they kind of separated a bit. Um, except at the end, uh, Tachibana got a nice pep talk from Kondo telling him, telling her that, you know, with time, everyone will be able to come to terms with one each other, with each other, you know, with maturity, and if you guys give it a chance. So, that was really nice. The moon was pretty, like, that's how it ended, and it was very, very nice. Um, I can't say I have any idea what to expect for this episode. I actually don't really know. It might focus on Tachibana kind of reconciling with her friend. I'm not too sure. So I guess we will find out. <laughs> Later I should be reacting to Mirano Kaikata episode 10 as well. As of now it's not out yet. So yeah. Yeah, okay, because I'm like, that rarely ever works. Like. <laughs> what, why? Secondhand book there. Oh, is she going to invite him to go there? Did she braid her hair? OMG. She didn't invite him. Oh, her hair's cute. <laughs> okay. She's taking a step. It's like she's not pressuring her as much, him as much anymore. She's like, as a friend. For now. De kasegi te yatsu ya. De kasegi te. Konai da baba ni itta toki nozoita ra shimatte da ro? Tsubureta ga to omotte da yo. Nan da yo, shinpai sase. Oh. Gatsu no ro yoku kayotte da furuhonya no oe sa. Konnichiwa. Oh, onto. Konna lippa na musume ga ita no kai. To shitoru wake da. え、職場。友達です。うん。友達。うん。まあ、いいじゃないの。で、世界で一番短い手紙って知ってる?いや。ビクトル・ユーゴだな。出版社にクエスチョンとだけ書いた手紙を送ったんだ。それに対して出版社
しまったつい<笑> That's cute. <laughs> That is so cute. But I'm going to go back to the house. 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 ね、That like postcard defined like she keeps checking if she liked it or something, right? That post there it is. So she's been waiting for it. Hi! <laughs> oh I actually want some. Please. Of course, I knew it. <laughs> ちょっと <laughs> Asking if there's anyone that can replace that feeling for literature. So, like, someone that can come into his life and be as important or maybe more important than his literature, right? Why? True. なくても He's so good with words. You could tell he's a novelist. <laughs> no, you guys lost the page. I wouldn't want to lose a page where it ended at. That's cool. <laughs> Talk dirty to me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is not the time. 
Look at her eyes, does she care? <laughs> Obviously. Oh, she slayed your words back at you. Oh, yeah, definitely because you love him. Although, the novels are probably good too. But I always wanted to say to someone. Aww. No, I feel like it's going to end soon. Stop. No, don't, don't, don't go white. Stop. Wow. Okay, fine. I see how it is. Um, oh, wow. Okay. Okay, so that was a very, very, um, I feel like this episode was packed with meaning, but I probably missed, like, half of it. Like, I don't know why. It just felt a little bit harder to capture all the meanings. But the parts that like I was able to capture with like the question mark and the exclamation mark like that was really cool how she sent him that like that was just very cool and genius how she like sent him that and then he responded with the exclamation mark and they actually did understand each other so that was awesome I mean it was very straightforward but it's cool how they were able to use that and communicate for real so um there's also oh sorry <laughs> And there was the whole thing that they were saying just now about like the bird that flies away and doesn't fly away and if they don't even try to fly away then they probably won't look at the sky like that was really good too um, it was also clever how she was saying how um... oh no wait what am I saying um, there's also the friend the friend you could see that like she really really likes Tachibana like she's waiting for her to like the picture but why do I feel like can Tachibana really go back to running? Because if she can, then obviously she should. She should obviously go back to running if she can. But the thing that's bothering me is that if she literally physically cannot, why, why is her friend like so like, come to practice, come to practice, and like, oh, I want to see if she likes this picture of us at practice. Like, I'm trying to understand because it's okay if, if she can't run at all anymore and it's just she can't do that why does she need to be at the practices like she can go as a friend occasionally and all that but they're saying it as if she just has to be there all the time and I'm like but doing what like I don't I don't understand what would be her what would she be doing like it's just I don't know I feel like it's weird how the friend is like pressuring her to to keep up with track if she literally physically cannot run but if she can take rehab and do stuff to run, then I understand they're trying to like bring her back into the track thing, which is obviously good. Like clearly Tachibana really loves it, you know? So if she can go back to running and physically, like she just needs rehab and work and then she can, then fine. Um, yeah, and it's, it's really cool. You know, their relationship with Kondo and Tachibana, like it's a very comfortable relationship. Like other than the fact that Kondo is kind of uncomfortable or aware that their relationship could come with issues aside from all of that like let's say we were to just remove that complication and put them to be the same age yada 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 you could see that these two people would really complement each other and it's also important to see that because Tachibana fell in love with him the way he is at the age he is with all the stuff he likes and she just unconditionally loves him you could see that you know without that complication as I mentioned earlier their relationship would be very well balanced i mean obviously i i can't say that for sure yet because it's always different when you actually end up in a relationship with someone and you're living together and you're you know that things can change but the way tachibana is and the way she already knows he is and she's still so like all over him like i love all these things about him you can see that they would probably just be really really chill and i i love how um she makes him feel you know I love how he makes her feel like she's she always feels really good and happy and whatever but I absolutely love how she's able to make him feel at his age and with all the stuff that he loves and it seems like he hasn't really experienced that before you know it almost feels like he can balance his his novel writing with like the relationship you know and it's just healthy that's how I see it so yeah so like I said it's, it's very nice and if if 
if anything happens then good for them and if nothing happens like I really hope that they can stay really good friends because she's a great support for him as well so that's gonna be the end of this video thanks a lot for watching guys leave what you guys think in the comments and I'll be seeing you guys again in my next video which should be coming out later today for me I know Kaikata episode 10 thanks guys bye